We are very privileged to have all of you here today and congratulations on your accomplishments. Uh, please join me in prayer. Most holy God, we praise you for you are good and faithful and you've given us so much to celebrate on this beautiful day. We thank you for the gift of these young people, for all that they've done and for the ways that you've inspired them and encouraged them on the journey. We thank you for parents, teachers, administrators, staff, all of those who have supported them and um, imparted knowledge and wisdom into their lives. And we ask that you bless this time together, bless the food that we eat, um, bless the time that we have, bless the gifts that are given, um, and be with the Gorman family today. We lift up this prayer in Jesus' name and all of God's people together say, Amen. All right, and I also have the privilege to introduce a fellow club member and uh, our, one of our board of trustees, Mr. Chris Boutique, who will lead us in the pledge. If y'all would stand and please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. So, yes, um, it's now um, we will with the uh, program. So um, big thanks to Brett Baisden and his entire committee uh, for all the work and effort to make this morning possible. And uh, just you know from interviews and applications and logistics and catering and everything else that went into this morning, uh, big thanks to Brett and his entire committee. So with that, I'll turn over to Brett. Exchange Club, thank you again. Um, I, I just want to welcome everyone. Uh, it's a great morning, and we're very excited that all of you are here. I would like to first recognize um, some of our distinguished guests and say thanks to a few um, folks who made this who helped make this happen this morning. Um, I would just say that um, I, I know a lot of you heard me say this the other night at Senior Awards Night. I do want to briefly mention um, a little bit about our club and, and what we do and, and why it's important to us. And at, at its core, the objective of National Exchange Club is to serve and support local communities through grassroots efforts. And for the last 50 years, our club, Heron Lake Highlands, has focused on community service to our neighborhood, specifically by supporting schools, local nonprofits, first responders, and taking part in projects that, that benefit our entire community. And one of the primary focuses of our fundraising is scholarships. That's, that's why we're here this morning. The total value of Exchange Club scholarships awarded and administered this year exceeds $130,000. And so that's what we're here to do is present those scholarships. Each of the students that we're going to be honoring this morning has excelled academically and still found time for substantial extracurricular activities, community service, um, or sometimes even holding down um, full or, or part-time jobs. Several of them have done so while overcoming some pretty significant and substantial challenges and obstacles in their lives. Um, so, for the thanks. First, the funds that for some of the scholarships that I will be presenting today were provided by families or endowments or memorial scholarships, and I want to recognize some of our donors. Um, several of our scholarships have been funded by Bob Potts. I don't believe that Bob is with us this morning, um, but Bob is a, a former president of our club, and scholarship is something that's very important to him. Also, Janine Oglesby funds one of our scholarships. I don't believe Janine is with us. Um, we are joined, however, by several donors, and um, when, I, when I say your name, if you just, if you would stand or if you just want to give a friendly wave, however you want to do it. Uh, but first, we've got Alan and Joan Wall in the little room there. <laughs> Sherry and Eric Luck are with us. 
And then we are joined by Clayton Burris, Jim Burris, and several members of the Burris family. Um, we are joined by Susan Kane Hansen. David and Suzanne Silva. And I, I believe they were trying to be here from Houston this morning. Wade Smith and members of the Wade Smith Foundation. Um, right there. Welcome. And then I would like to thank everyone in the room who's a resident of Lake Highlands for supporting Exchange Club's Dallas Oktoberfest Dallas and our auction and other events. Those are some of the events that help us raise the funds to, to award these scholarships. We also have some distinguished guests from the RST Board of Trustees and Administration. Um, we have two trustees with us this morning, Eric Eager and Chris Boutique. Thank you all for being here. We are also joined by Jenny Bates, who is the Executive Director of the Lake Highlands Learning Community. Ms. Bates is joining us on behalf of Superintendent um, Tabitha Branham. Um, Superintendent Branham really wanted to be here today, but her son is graduating from college. So if there's a valid excuse for not being here, that's it. Uh, we also would like to welcome Principal Carrie Jones from the high school. And she's brought several members of her staff because Many of the students we're recognizing today um, attended junior high in the neighborhood. We've also invited the principals from the two junior highs. I believe Susan Burke from Forest Meadow Junior High is here. And then Nick Rustin from Blake Highlands Junior High um, had planned to attend. He's ill this morning and, and sends his regrets. I'd also like to say a special thank you to some um, members of the staff at the high school, specifically Robin Finkley, Tana Badger, and Sherry Hicks. Robin is the college and career coordinator at the high school. Um, and Sherry, Ms. Hicks, is the executive assistant to Principal Jones. And then Tana Badger is the counseling secretary. Together they took care of making all the arrangements for our um, making the presentations of the scholarship program to the senior class, hosting us during two days of interviews, and most importantly, making sure that all the folks on my committee were fed, knew where to go, knew what they were supposed to be doing. Thank you each so much for your help in making this happen. Um, I'd also like to, to say a special thanks to a, a few select club members, Mario Barone and Paul Elkier, who had this job the, in the three years before I did. Um, they both provided invaluable guidance and assistance along the way. They were exceptionally patient with my many questions. Um, also, thank you to Rick Mosley, who has helped automate and streamline our application process and, and just the process for doing the whole thing, from signups for interviews and signups for the scholarship forms once we issued the awards. Um, Rick has made this whole process much more efficient. And then I would also like to say thank you to the members and staff of Lake Highlands United Methodist Church for graciously donating the use of the Great Hall again. It's been three years since we were able to have this event in this room, and it is fantastic to be back here. Um, so thank you to Reverend Jill Jackson Sears who gave our invocation, Associate Pastor Andy Roberts. I um, also want to thank Marcy Potts, Chris Casamatis, and Ted Daniel for their logistical help in getting everything set up. Thank you all. And then I, I know, because I've seen some of them, I, that there are teachers, coaches, and mentors in the audience who have played a part in these students' lives. During the interview, students often spoke about the, the special impact and, and the meaningful relationships that they formed with teachers and coaches along the way. Um, if there are any educators who have been invited on, on to attend on behalf of the student, please stand. And then last but certainly not least, I, I do want to thank 
the parents um, of, of these kids. This is a phenomenal group of students. You've all done an outstanding job, and, and congratulations to you. Over the course of two full days and in two rooms, we interviewed 60 students for these, for these scholarships. And as unnerving as it is for a 17 or 18 year old to, to take about 20 minutes of rapid fire questions, I can report that each of these students did a phenomenal job um, answering our questions, introducing themselves, and talking about the things that, that mattered most to them. Um, our committee commented, co commented over and over just how incredibly impressed they were with the work ethic, the accomplishments, um, and, and just the, the achievements of these students. So we know you're gonna accomplish great things in the future, and we look forward to your continued success. So at this point, I'd like to get started. Um, the way we're gonna do this, um, students, when I, when I read your name, if you would please stand at your table, and I'm gonna read a few of your accomplishments. Um, Theoretically, we need to get y'all to the high school at some point, so I'm not gonna read <laughs> every accomplishment, and we're not gonna all come up here, but that's, that's how we're gonna do it. So, uh, we will proceed. And our first scholarship is the Jeff Kane Memorial Scholarship. Great. The Jeff Kane Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who attended Forest Meadow Junior High. This scholarship is given in memory of the beloved former principal of Forest Meadow, um, Jeff Kane, by his wife, Susan. Susan also taught in RISD for over 40 years in special education, and her time and service in the district is especially important to her. The 2022 Jeff K. Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Emmanuel Oluo Peruku. <laughs> Emmanuel is the son of Adadayo and Belamay Oluo Peruku. He is active in junior ROTC, he won an ROTC Leadership Award, and he is a member of the National Honor Society. He's played football the last two years, and he ran track for three years. Um, in addition to his activities at the high school, he worked at McDonald's during his senior year of high school, and he plans to attend the University of Tulsa next year. Congratulations, Emmanuel. <laughs> and then that takes us to our Bob Potts Family Working Student Awards. These awards are given by Lake Highlands Exchange Club member Bob Potts to students who worked at least 20 hours per week during the school year while managing to also excel in their studies. Um, our first 2022 Potts Family Working Student Award is presented to Crystal Anderson. And, and I don't see Crystal, but a little bit about Crystal. Crystal's a very hard worker. She worked a number of jobs during high school. She had, she had jobs at AMC Theater, Walgreens, Chick-fil-A, and most recently Walmart. Um, during that, in holding these jobs, she consistently worked 25 to 30 hours per week while attending school, and she also takes time out to mentor younger students. She plans to attend Texas Southern University next year. Our next recipient is Ainsley Haas. Ainsley is the daughter. Of Jonathan and Jessica Haas. Ainsley is very active in the fine arts. She is a four year member of the Lake Highlands Choir and she participated in orchestra for several years. This year she performed with the Esprit Show Choir. She is also a member of Girls Service League, Mu Alpha Theta, National Honor Society, and she participated in mock trial and Junior World Affairs Council. Outside of the high school, Ainsley works as a team lead at Rush Bowls, uh, where she's responsible for managing the store. And next year, she will attend the University of Texas at Austin, where she plans to major in film. Congratulations to Ainsley. <laughs> Our next recipient of the Working Scholarship is Audrey Stone. Audrey is the daughter of Brian and Carrie Stone. She is a three-year member of Highland Nets and is serving as Highland Net captain this year. And she served as first lieutenant her junior year. She's won numerous awards in connection with Highland Nets, including a first place award at the Showtime International Dance Competition this year. She's a member of National Honor Society and Girls Service League. She's participated in choir and student council throughout all four years at Lake Highlands. She's active in National Charity League, and she is an active member at Watermark Community Church, and also participates in Young Life. 
During the school year, Audrey also worked as a waitress at Cedar and Vine and taught classes as a dance instructor at Lake Highlands Dance Academy. Audrey plans to attend Texas A&M University next year. Congratulations, Audrey. And next we have Crawford Wheel. Crawford is the son of Brian and Kristen Wheel. Crawford is involved in many activities at the high school. These include two years in Wranglers, serving as a bellboy this year, and playing on the water polo team. He also participated in basketball and football, and he is active in Young Life and National Honor Society. Crawford is an incredibly hard and enterprising worker. Last summer, he held down three jobs, often working 60 to 70 hours a week. He worked on a, a crew for a landscape design company. He also worked at the Dallas Country Club golf course. And at the start of COVID in April 2020, Crawford had some, some time. And so he started his own company, Crawford Cleans Cans, and that, he offers power washing services to, to the neighborhood. So if you need your trash can power wash, Crawford can take care of that for you. Um, and he comes highly recommended. One of the things for these working student scholarships that we ask the students to do is provide letters of verification from their employers to you know, show that they worked the jobs that, that they reported to us. Um, and the absolute best verification letter that I got was Crawford's letter from himself. Perfect. I love it. Which is, which is just fantastic. Um, but hey, if you're the boss. <laughs> right. so, um, next year, Crawford is going to attend the University of Arkansas. He plans to study in the Sam Walton College of Business. Um, his older brothers at Arkansas have received one of our scholarships a year or two ago. So congratulations to Crawford. Next, we have Kayla West. Kayla is the... <laughs> Kayla is the daughter of Christopher and Michelle West. She is a member of Wranglers and is a member of the National Honor Society and Girls Service League. She's active at Watermark and volunteers with a number of different organizations, including Feed My Starving Children, Pamper Lake Highlands, East Lake Pet Orphanage, and the Children's Ministry at her church. She's also an artist, and she used her skills um, to help earn the Gold Scout Gold Award, which is the equivalent of the Boy Scout Eagle Scout Award. Her Gold Award project included painting art to go throughout up on the walls at East Lake, and then she also organized a donation drive. In addition to these activities and service work, Kayla has worked during the school year at American Eagle and at Crumble Cookies and she actually also owns and operates her own painting business, selling art to her family and friends. Next year, Kayla will attend Lynn College, where she plans to study visual, visualization, and she plans to ultimately transfer and complete her degree at Texas A&M, and then pursue a career in graphic design. Congratulations, Kayla. And that takes us to the Data Joe Potts Memorial Scholarships. The Data Joe Potts Memorial Scholarships are given by Bob Potts, longtime Exchange Club member, in memory of his first wife, Data Joe, who died in 1995 of lung cancer. And our first Data Joe Potts Memorial Scholarship goes to Vanessa Ogbeen. <laughs> Vanessa is the daughter of Bartholomew Ogbeen and Shemaidu Waneka. At the high school, Vanessa has participated in choir. She is a member of Health Occupation Students of America. And um, last year, she attended a STEM camp last summer that focused on math and science. Vanessa has three siblings, and so she stayed very busy during the pandemic, helping babysit them. And then she also helped out and volunteered at her church, helping with logistics and cleaning. Next year, Vanessa is going to attend Texas Women's University, and she hopes to pursue a career in healthcare administration. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Victoria Olavi. <laughs> Victoria is the daughter of Olu Wasegun and Foloshade Olavi. She is an editor of the Fashion and Media Arts Club, known as FAMA, which provides a creative outlet for minority students and she's really valued her time on the leadership team of FAMA. 
Um, she served on the yearbook staff this year, and she has participated in the peer mediator and mock trial program at the high school. She's also active in her youth group where she held the position of secretary. She also worked at Brahms and spent last summer working as a freelance social media manager for several small businesses, helping with their digital advertising and social media campaigns. Another enterprising student, she plans to pursue these interests by attending the University of San Francisco, where she will pursue an entrepreneurship and innovation major and a minor in data science. Congratulations. Next, we have Virginia DeMint. Virginia is the daughter of Darren and Joanna DeMint. Virginia is a four-year member and talented performer in Lake Highlands Choir, where she has served as section leader and librarian. This year, she performed with the Esprit Show Choir and is in musical theater. She's a four-year member of the cross-country team. She served as captain of the cross-country team this year and has also participated in track and field. She's also a member of Girls Service League and Student Council. Outside of high school, Virginia is very active at Wilshire Baptist Church, participating in student ministry, youth choir, select ensemble groups, and she's taken part in numerous local state, local, state, and national mission projects and mission trips. Next year, Virginia will attend the University of Arkansas. Congratulations. Next is Jason Kirchville. Jason is the son of Patrick and Christy Kirchville. He is a four-year member of the track and talk cross-country teams and National Honor Society. Jacob has been very active in serving his community, donating his time to organizations such as Carry the Load, North Texas Mobile Food Pantry, VNA Meals on Wheels, and Eastlake Pet Orphanage. He also helped set up a trivia night and served in a volunteer role at the Elks Lodge. Um, Jason has also worked at Holmes Aquatic Center in the summers, and as a result of his hard work and effort, was promoted to a managerial role. Next year, he plans to attend Texas State University. He has been accepted to the Honors College and plans to study finance. Congratulations, Jason. Next is Van Thang. I, I believe Van was unable to join us, but um, seems to be the case. A little bit about Van. Van has excelled academically and is a member of the AVID College Readiness Program. He received perfect attendance and was selected as the AVID Outstanding Freshman. For the past four years, he's volunteered at his church, running media control and the soundboard, and he's going to attend the University of Texas at Arlington next year where he plans to study accounting. So those are our data <laughs> drip Next, we have the James Brandon Burris Memorial Scholarships. These scholarships are given by Clayton and Jim Burris in memory of Brandon, a 2000 graduate of Lake Highlands High School who starred on the soccer team. Brandon was working as an architect in Dallas um, when, he, when he passed away in a tragic um, accident in 2015. His father Jim and his brother Clayton and friends of Brandon established these scholarships in his memory. And the first James Brandon Burris Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Olivia Potman. <laughs> Olivia is the daughter of Brian and Suzette Potman. Olivia has been involved in many activities at the high school, including Girls Service League, National Honor Society, Student Council, and the AP Math Club. She's a three-year member of the Alpha Theta and currently serves as treasurer of this organization, which provides math tutoring and math volunteer work um, for other students. She played two years of varsity golf and won second team all district both years that she played. Outside of school, um, Olivia works about 20 hours per week at Hey Hey American Chinese Restaurant, and she volunteers in the children's garden at the Dallas Arboretum. In the past, she's also worked at Taco Diner and at the KC Pool. Next year, Olivia will attend Texas A&M and she will study architecture. She eventually plans to obtain a Master's of Architecture from A&M, and then she's going to work towards her goal of becoming a licensed architect, which is a rigorous and time-intensive process. Um, we are confident that Olivia will achieve her goals. Congratulations. And 
the second recipient of the James Brandon Burris Memorial Scholarship is Kate Tabor. Kate is the daughter of David and Jennifer Tabor. She's a member of Highland Nets, and she served as junior and first lieutenant the past two years um, at the high school. She also participates in Girls Service League, National Honor Society, and New Alpha Theta. Outside of school, she is active and has held leadership positions in the University Park United Methodist Church Youth Leadership Team, and she served as president of her youth group this year. She's also a member of the National Charity League Heart of Dallas chapter, and she participates in high adventure treks for dads and daughters. Daughters, for the past three summers, she's worked at a as a counselor at Hager Water Sports Camp, mentoring younger children and teaching them how to ski and, and participate in other water sports. Next year, she will attend Clemson University where she will be part of the Honors College. Congratulations to Kate. And one thing that I should mention, like Olivia, Kate is also planning to study architecture. She has an interest in architecture and is, that at this point is her chosen career path. So next we have the Herb and Francis Wall Memorial Scholarship. Herb Wall was one of the charter members of the North Lake Exchange Club, which later turned into the Exchange Club of Lake Highlands. Herb and Francis love Lake Highlands and they loved raising their family in this community. To honor them and their dedication to our neighborhood, Joan and Alan Wolm provide an annual scholarship in memory of Alan's parents. This year's recipient of the Herb and Francis Wolm Memorial Scholarship is Miranda Rink. Miranda is involved in numerous activities at the high school. She's a four-year cheerleader, served as JV captain, and is currently varsity cheer captain. She also plays tennis and is a three-year member of the tennis, three-year varsity member of the tennis team. And she also participates in Wranglers, National Honor Society, and Girls Service League. She's won numerous awards in her high school career, including NCA and UCA All-American Cheerleader. She has been honored as an Exchange Club Youth of the Month, and she was recently honored as our Exchange Club of Lake Highlands Youth of the Year. In addition, outside of high school, she dances as a company member at Kitty Carter's Dance Factory. She's a member of National Charity League, participates in Young Life, and is active in her youth group at St. Thomas Aquinas. If you've talked to Miranda for more than about 30 seconds, you know about her love of ornithology and all things bird. She is a committee member and volunteer with the Lights Out Texas Project, led by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, which studies bird migration patterns through, through our area. She also volunteers at the Trinity Audubon Society, uh, Center and is a member of the Dallas Zoom birding team, which means that she birds on a competitive level. <laughs> um, in fact, her team won first place back to back two years in the Great Texas Birding Classic. And I say all this because we spent a lot of Miranda's interview talking about birds. So <laughs> share that with y'all. So she plans to continue to pursue these interests at Cornell University next year where she will major in environment and sustainability, and she recently learned that she made the cheerleading squad at Cornell. Congratulations, Miranda. <laughs> Next is the Jason Oglesby Memorial Scholarship. Mike Oglesby was a longtime club member and past president of our club. He and his wife, Janine, started the scholarship in memory of their eldest son, Jason Oglesby, who was attending SMU and pursuing a business major when he died in a tragic swimming pool accident in August 2001. Janine's a club member and has served on our scholarship committee for many years. The 2022 Jason Oglesby Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Jeremiah Hemingway. <laughs> Jeremiah is a very hard worker and he's overcome some challenges in his life. In the past, he's played basketball at Lake Highlands, and he currently works at Sunglasses Hut and enjoys working out. Next year, he's going to attend the University of Texas at Arlington, and he is interested in pursuing a career in cybersecurity. Congratulations, Jeremiah. <laughs> Next are the Luck Family Foundation Scholarships. The Luck Family Foundation has participated in the Exchange Club Scholarship Program for many years. Um, for many years, the Luck Family Foundation convened a committee that interviewed and selected their scholarship recipients through, through a separate 
administration process. The last couple of years, it's been our privilege as the Exchange Club to help play a role in, in interviewing and selecting recipients of these scholarships, and, and we've really enjoyed the opportunity to do that. This year, Sherry and Eric Lutt asked us to focus on identifying working students and students who participate in the AVID College Readiness Program to be recipients of the Luck Family Foundation Scholarships, and it was our pleasure to do that. Our first recipient of a Luck Scholarship is Ayomide Victoria Ailo. <laughs> Victoria is the daughter of Femi and Ariola Ayuma. She is a four-year member of the Lake Highlands High School Band Color Guard and the Winter Guard, and she's on the leadership team of both of those organizations. She's participated in FAMA, the, um, the creative design club that we talked about earlier, and she's a member of the Interact Club. Uh, it's a club affiliated with National Rotary, and she serves as vice president of the Interact Club. She was selected by White Rock Rotary to receive the Camp RYLA Rotary Youth Scholarship based on her leadership, and she's performed many volunteer projects and attended a leadership camp through Rotary. She also participates in the AVID program. Outside of school, she works approximately 20 hours per week at Taco Cabana for babysitting. She's also a member of First Baptist Richardson and volunteers at Deep Ellum Church. Next year, Victoria will attend the University of North Texas, and she's exploring the possibility of perhaps later transferring to the University of Oregon later in her college career. She intends to pursue a career as a therapist and is interested in possibly obtaining a PhD in psychology one day. Congratulations to Victoria. Next is Jose Cartagena. Jose is the son of Jose Rodriguez and Maria Baruca. He is a member of AVID, National Honor Society, and the National Society of High School Scholars. He is an advanced academic ambassador, a member of the Richardson Youth Leadership Program, and participates in the Young Leaders Strong City Initiative. He's an AP Honors student and has won numerous awards, including AVID, the AVID Outstanding Student Award, the Hispanic Heritage Award, and the Exchange Club Character Parents Award. Jose is an incredibly talented artist. He's won two medals at the Visual Arts Scholastic event known as BASE. He showed our committee some of his artwork on his phone during the interview, and it was really impressive. He, he has a, a tremendous amount of talent. He plans to pursue his passion for creativity and study art at the collegiate level, and he will attend the University of North Texas next year. Congratulations, Jose. Our next recipient is Elizabeth McNamara. Elizabeth is a true leader at the high school in several organizations. She's a four-year band member. She played in the jazz band. She, she has served as section leader and was a senior drum major this year. She's been a member of the Lake Highlands newspaper staff for four years. She's worked her way up the ranks and served as editor-in-chief this year. Not surprisingly, she's won numerous band awards, including section honors, MVP jazz musician, outstanding junior, and has been selected to band, as band member of the week on several occasions. She also participates in Junior World Affairs Council and has been a member of the World Pet Quest Trivia Competition Team. She is both the founder and president of the Lake Highlands Podcast Club. And just to sort of round things out, she played water polo one year. <laughs> uh, she is also an Exchange Club Youth of the Month recipient last February. Outside of school, she works at Play Street Museum and has volunteered at the Brookdale Senior Learning Center. She also completed a summer internship with the RISD Fine Arts Department. Next year, Elizabeth will attend Texas State University. She plans to study public administration and intends to obtain both a bachelor's and master's degree in her chosen profession. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Next is Grace Moon. Grace is the daughter of Douglas and Stephanie Moon. Grace is a four-year band member, winning all region honors from 2019 to 2022, and she was selected for, as an all region orchestra member in 2021. She plays on the drum line and is a multi-year member of the Esprit de Corps and section, and section Leader. She has been selected to play in the jazz band and has been a member of the theater tech team during her high school career. 
She's a member of National Honor Society and has volunteered at the Dallas Arboretum and the Merriman Park Elementary Garden. She also works 20 hours per week at Chick-fil-A throughout the school year and is active in her church youth group. Grace hopes to be a professional musician or educator. She plans to study music education and performance, potentially pursuing a master's degree after she completes her undergraduate studies. Next year, she will attend the University of Colorado Boulder. Congratulations, Grace. Next is Marlon Patricio Bueno. Marlon is the daughter of Manuel and Cristina Bueno. She is the sister of Joanna Patricio Bueno, who some of you may recall won one of our Exchange Club scholarships a couple years ago. Marlon participates in AVID, and she has danced the past four years as a member of Lake Highlands High School Folklorico, the Mexican Folk Dance Club, and she served as First Lieutenant and Captain of Folklorico. She's a member of National Honor Society and an Advanced Academic Ambassador. She also played in the Lake Highlands Orchestra throughout high school and is first chair violinist. She also received the Exchange Club Character Counts Award and received a medal in the Optimism Essay Contest. Like her sister, Marlon worked at Misco Sino, Miko, can't talk. She worked at Miko Sino, Miko, uh, her high school, sometimes. Uh, she has volunteered with several organizations, including St. Vincent the Fall Thrift Store, uh, the Lake Highlands Pid Trunk or Treat, and various RISD events. Next year, Marlon will attend Texas Women's University, the University of North Texas, or University of Texas Permian Basin. Congratulations. Congratulations. Next is Ella Sanders. Ella is the daughter of Neil and Nicole Sanders. She is a four-year member of the Lake Highlands Band. She serves in the Spree de Corps and as clarinet section leader. She's a member of National Honor Society, Girls Service League, Mu Alpha Theta, and um, the AP Math Club. She served as student ambassador for Richardson Healthcare Careers Academy. She's active in the youth group at Northwest Bible Church, and she has volunteered at Hamper Lake Highlands and For Love of the Lake. During high school, she also worked at Old Navy and Chick-fil-A. Her goal is to obtain a nursing degree and potentially pursue a nurse practitioner's degree and career one day. Next year, she's going to attend Texas A&M University and study nursing. Congratulations to Ella. And at this point, um, we move on to the Wade Smith Foundation Scholarships. Those might not be. Yes, we are. Okay. All right. Um, the Wade Smith Foundation Scholarships. Wade Smith um, attended Wallace Elementary, Lake Highlands Junior High, and graduated from Lake Highlands High School in 1999. He then played football for the University of Memphis and was drafted in the third round of the 2003 NFL Draft by the Miami Dolphins. Wade went on to play 12, season, 12 seasons in the NFL. Today, Wade lives in Houston and he's focused on giving back to his community and to Lake Highlands, and he focuses on supporting youth, specifically through literacy programs and sports. He also writes children's books with the moral, tech, tackling issues like bullying, and as I mentioned today, we have several members of his foundation with us. Thank you for making the trip up. The first recipient of the Wade Smith Foundation Scholarship is Habib Abayadun. <laughs> Habib is another student who has excelled academically um, and his family has faced some challenges. He has worked at DoorDash and currently works at Chick-fil-A He's very interested in pursuing electronic, game, pursuing electronic gaming as a career. He participates in the PlayStation Club, and um, last summer he even developed his own <coughs> game, electronic game. Next year, Habib will attend the University of Texas at Dallas, and he's gonna pursue those goals. So congratulations to Habib. <laughs> and the other recipient of the Wade Smith Foundation Scholarship is Renicia Tucker. Renicia is the daughter of Sanithia Collins. She is a four-year member of the track team and served as captain this year, her senior year. 
She's a member of National Honor Society and she participates in the AVID program. During high school, she worked at McDonald's, Andy Frozen, Andy's Frozen Custard, and Burger King. She plans to pursue a nursing degree. She has a goal of becoming a travel, a travel nurse. She wants to see the world, travel internationally, practicing nursing. And next year, she's going to pursue these goals by attending Texas Women's University. Congratulations to Renee. And that brings us to the Austin Silva Memorial Scholarships. At this point, I'd like to invite up David and Suzanne Silva, who are going to present these scholarships. to the Lake Hounds Exchange Club for allowing us to come up here and make these presentations. And glad Brent's getting to take a little break, catch his breath. He's doing a great job on, on his presentation, so thank you so much. So, like I said, my name is David Silva. I'm speaking on behalf of the Austin Silva Memorial Scholarship. Austin, our oldest child, passed away almost five years ago in June of 2017 after completing his junior year. And um, in the years after that, Memorial Fund was established. So um, we could support organizations that were close to him. Um, in addition to merit and need, this scholarship focuses on faith and character and how they serve and, and um, how they served and how they demonstrated these attributes in high school. Even though Austin had much success in life, his faith in Christ is at the core of how he lived here on this earth, and it is what this scholarship celebrates in all these students. Uh, thank you to the Lake Island Exchange Club once again in administering this scholarship and the Selection Committee for all your help in selecting the recipients. Um, you know, Lake Islands, as you've seen already, has great young men and women and very excited for the future of all of them. Um, so Suzanne is here with me as well. I forgot to mention her. She's my be most better half and better half, definitely, but she's here to help me present. Um, our first recipient is Charlie Baumgart. Todd uh, Veller describes Charlie as a gifted leader, humble, teachable, willing. Um, he has a heart that's willing to serve in places like uh, Young Life Clubs. Uh, he did work crew last summer. Um, he leads FCA. He serves meals at the Austin Street Homeless Shelter. Um, he's number nine in his class. He plays on the tennis team. He serves as captain. Uh, he ran cross country. Um, Charlie uh, has some of our family's favorite sports with running and tennis, and that often reminds us of Austin as well. So we're real excited for Charlie, and he is headed to Texas A&M to study engineering. <laughs> our next recipient is Brandon Beller. Um, Meredith Reed described him as compassionate, persevering, he has highly high integrity, and he's a lot of fun. And he's a solid leader in school in multiple organizations, including Wranglers, which, um, as, we, as we mentioned before, Austin loved. Um, he served a lot in young life. He served in junior high, ninth grade leader, mentor, uh, work crew last summer. Um, when he talks about what he thinks his chief contribution is to the community, he would say giving people a clear understanding of what God is like and showing them how much he loves them. Um, one friend in our scholarship committee uh, described Brandon as someone ju who just had a great character and just had a personality that reminded him a lot of Austin. So um, he is headed to um, Texas A&M to study business. Congratulations. And we would describe him as thoughtful, humble, and servant-hearted. And Park City's Baptist has been Will's main service area, where you find him behind the camera crew, BBS, mission trip. You'd also find him serving in Young Life and um, Young Men's Service League. Will will say he tends toward the quieter side, but this allows him to be a good listener and easy to hang out with Young Life kids or even over in the Beat Lake Highlands with the kids there. Um, he still 
with all of this, he still is landed number 11 in his class, and he plays varsity tennis for the past four years. Um, Austin would have loved to play. Um, and he also is headed to A&M Business Bound. Our next recipient is Olivia Fox. Olivia is described as committed, competent, and creative by her supervisor at uh, Northwest Community Center. In her work there, she spends a lot of time with refugees, doing tutoring, vacation Bible school, baby showers, and um, that has held her heart uh, dearly. And besides that, she has time to do orchestra, mock trial, uh, National Charity League, and her job at the Play Street Museum uh, serves a lot of families in the Lake Highlands area. And so Olivia is headed off to Belmont University. Congratulations. <laughs> describes Kyle as a leader by example with a positive attitude, a great work ethic, and guided by his faith as he serves as captain on the basketball team. Kyle is really grateful to have his cousin come live with him two and a half years ago. really desires to be a role model and point him to Christ. And I think that's so high how you've been able to love your cousin. Um, you have also landed in the top 10 of our class and worked really hard. And he's moving down to College Station also, ain't inbound. Okay, our last recipient is Kayla Sch Schwanke. Her um, lifeguard employer described Kayla as a tremendous leadership, having tremendous leadership skills that come naturally and not afraid to take charge and ask questions. This take charge attitude was seen as she started a prayer group weekly to pray for the school with COVID for the last two years. She also serves in children's ministry at Storyhouse Church and as a basketball player. Um, you even get your own music. Did you hear that? <laughs> I love that walk-up music. Um, as a basketball player, Kayla's excited to help athletes while studying physical therapy and working with injured players, and, and also the opportunity to encourage them to have an identity in Christ and not just their athletic ability. Um, she will be moving down to UT at Permian Basin. Hopefully that music wasn't that kind of like the Academy Awards when they're like trying to get people to and all that. But thank y'all so much. We can't say enough about the Lake Highlands community and the Lake Highlands um, kids and the last five years getting to be close to a lot of these kids at every grade. So um, the future's in good hands with these great kids and just thankful for, for this whole time here. So thank you so much. so much to Suzanne and David. And, you know, it's, it's our privilege to assist with the administration of the Austin Silva Scholarships. I know that you've touched so many lives through these scholarships over the years, and um, we thank you for what you do for our community. Um, yeah. And that takes us to our last group of, of scholarships, which are the Exchange Club of Lake Highland Scholarships and the Exchange Club Board of Directors Scholarships. Um, before we get to that, I want to take a moment and thank the members of my committee. They are listed in the program, um, but the members of the Exchange Club Scholarship Committee this year 
were Mario Barone, John Dean, Brian Haynes, David Hawley, Ben Jackson, Jason Oglesby, Darren Wickham, and Justin Yarbrough. And um, I know some of y'all are here. If you're here, would you please stand up? Um, you know, it, interviewing these students, one, it's incredibly hard to, to select from such a quality pool, quality pool of applicants, but um, the committee took two full days to interview 60 kids, um, took days off of work, and I, I appreciate your time and your service. You also um, provided a, a lot of guidance and counseling to me along the way, and so um, thank, thank you all for your help. Um, so that takes us to our Exchange Club scholarships. And these scholarships recognize academic excellence, exceptional leadership skills, and noteworthy involvement in multiple activities at the high school and the community at large. This morning, we are present presenting 28 Exchange Club of Lake Island scholarships, and I believe that's the largest number of those category of scholarships that we have awarded today. So we're very excited to introduce you to these students. The first one is Valerie Asimoto. Valerie is the daughter of Donald and Ehi Asimoto. She is a four-year member of Symphonic Orchestra. She is a member of Teen Learning Wizards, where she tutored and mentored RISD elementary students. Um, and she is the Math and Science Program Lead and LH Chapter Lead of Learning Wizards. She participated in Junior World Affairs Council, and she is also the co-president of HOSA, which is the Health Occupations Student of America Club. Her goal is to be a physician and practice as an OBGYN specialist, delivering health care to low-income patients. To that end, she has taken dual credit pharmacology courses and competed in the HOSA Biomedical Laboratory Science Area 3 competition. Next year, she's going to attend the University of Texas at Austin, and she will continue her education in pursuit of these goals. Congratulations, Valerie. <laughs> Next is Lauren Baranowski. Lauren is the daughter of Alan and Lindsay Baranowski. She is a member of National Honor Society, Girl Service League, Mu Alpha Theta. She co-founded the Movie Club at the high school, and in the past she has participated in cheerleading and tech theater. She has won both the Silver and Bronze Award, award in Girl Scouts, and she was uh, the recipient of an Excellence Award in the Reflection Contest in both 2019 and 2021. She's been active in Young Life throughout high school, and she's also worked as a sales associate at Small Pockets, and she does math tutoring. She's very creative and interested in the arts. She's the owner and designer of her own Etsy shop, and she hopes to pursue digital design and graphic art as a career. Next year, she plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and will study in the School of Design. Um, congratulations to Lori. Next is Grace Carew. Grace is the daughter of Ben and Sonny Carew. She is a four-year member of the tennis team, serving as captain her senior year. She's also been a four-year Lake Highlands cheerleader, and for the last two years, she has served as spirit chairperson. She's won a lot of tennis awards. She was MVP of the tennis team her freshman and junior years, and she made first team all district as a sophomore. She's a member of student council. She served on the leadership team as a junior and currently serves as treasurer. She is active in National Honor Society, Girl Service League, and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. She is also active in Young Life and a member of that Wilshire Baptist Church Student Ministry. She, next year, she will attend the University of Arkansas. She plans to pursue a nursing degree and a career as a nurse practitioner. Congratulations, Grace. Next up is Drew Davis. <laughs> when, but Drew's played baseball all four years at Lake Highlands. Uh, he recently, and I know this from Twitter, made the 2022 <laughs> academic all-star baseball team, and he achieved elite status, which was given uh, means he's only one of 40 baseball players in Texas to achieve that. So it's a heck of an accomplishment. 
He is also a member of Wranglers National Honor Society. He is president of the Young Men's Service League and received the dedication awards in 2020 and 2021. He's active in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. He played in the band for three years. Through these organizations and on his own, he spent substantial time volunteering with Feed My Starving Children, Wreaths Across America, Diversa Care Lake Highlands, City Square, and other nonprofits. He's active at Watermark Community Church. Uh, he plays baseball on club teams, and he works as a youth baseball umpire through SBAA. Mm -hmm. Next year, Drew plans to attend Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got more. Uh, uh, Drew plans to study in the May School of Business, and then after that he wants to go on to law school. On his application, Drew said that after completing his education, he plans to return to Lake Highlands. Drew, you're very welcome to join us in the Exchange Club because we are woefully short on lawyers at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Next is Ella Deason. Ella is the daughter of David and Molly Deason. She founded and serves as president of the Garden and Environment Club. And this club is working to start gardens in the courtyards at the high school. And she is fundraising for a partner learning garden at North Lake Elementary. She serves on the superintendent's, superintendent's advisory committee. She's a member of National Honor Society. And earlier in her high school career, she participated in tech theater. Last summer, she completed a two-week coding camp, and she completed a two-week virtual course from Tulane regarding tactile design in architecture. She's a member of National Charity League. Um, she's been in that all four years, and she served as VP of programs her junior year. Next year, um, Ella is going to attend Tulane University. She plans to double major in architecture and environmental studies, and then all, she's also going to pursue a master's in architecture and an architectural license. So congratulations to Ella. Next up is Laurel Dormini. <laughs> Laurel is the daughter of Sean and Lucinda. She is a four-year cheerleader. As a senior, she served as spirit committee chair. She's a member of Wranglers and served as captain of the Wranglers this year. She's also a member of National Honor Society. She's been a four-year member of student council. She's in the Girls Service League. She is a National Merit Committed Scholar, and she's one of the top 10 students in her graduating class. Outside of the high school, Laurel is a company member at Kitty Carter Dance Factory. She participates in National Charity League, Young Line, and she's been a counselor at Hager Water Sports Camp for the last three summers. That is until it's time to come back and do cheer camp and Wrangler camp and all the other camps that she has to do to run all the things she runs. Um, professionally, Laurel wants to be a computer engineer. Next year, she's going to attend the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, she chose Wisconsin because of its highly ranked engineering program and school spirit. She took a trip up there and just fell in love with it. Uh, she particularly likes that it's located on Lake Mendota because she is a water sports fanatic and she loves the water. And so just going to school on the water appealed to her. Congratulations to Laurel. <laughs> Next up is Benjamin Howard. Ben is the son of Rick and Michelle Howard. He is a four-year band member and currently serves as percussion captain. He's received several band awards, including Outstanding Percussionist as a junior and Outstanding Soloist at the Plano Jazz Invitational. He's also a member of the Spree Show Choir, National Honor Society, and New Alpha Band. He's active at Watermark Community Church, where he's a member of the lead team, and he's also active with Lake Highlands Young Life. During high school, he's worked at Mathnasium, Chick-fil-A, and at Camp Barnabas, which is a special needs camp in Missouri that's designed to give um, folks with special needs a, a true co summer camp experience. Next year, Ben is going to attend Auburn University. He's still deciding between fields of study, but he knows he wants to perform research, and he has a long-term goal of becoming a college professor. Congrats, Ben. <laughs> Next up is Mul Arso. Mular is the daughter of Da Black and Pa A. She has faced some challenging situations, but she has excelled academically. She participates in AVID and played two years of Lake Highlands soccer. 
She's also worked at Hello Dumpling, Dumpling and Taco Joint during her high school career. She volunteers through Wilshire Baptist Church. She's specifically helped out um, by helping staff Vacation Bible School and working at the Children's Music Camp. Uh, Mular would like to become an elementary school teacher, and she's going to continue her education next year at the University of Texas at Arlington. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Will Hutton. <laughs> Will's involved in a ton of activities at the high school. He's a four-year member of the football team, and he served as captain for the past two years. Uh, he was a member of the academic all-district elite team. He um, was, made, was selected as first team all-district offense for two years, and he received the 2021 Dave Campbell Texas High School Football Leadership Award. In 2021, he was RISD powerlifting, powerlifting Champion and Most Outstanding Heavyweight Lifter. He serves on student council. He currently holds the position of secretary and he's organized and volunteered at several community events through student council. He's a captain of the Wranglers and co-founder of the Lake Highlands Bass Fishing Team. He's also a member of National Honor Society and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. He's active in Young Life and has worked at Holmes Aquatic Center as well. Next year, Will is going to attend Texas Tech and he plans to major in agriculture. Um, in the future, he think, he's thinking about obtaining either an MBA or a JD, and he'd like to either manage a hunting ranch or, ranch, or practice imminent domain law out in West Texas. Mm. Congratulations, Will. <laughs> Next, we have Nick Landry. Nick is the son of Joseph Landry and Cynthia Engel. He's a member of JROTC. He served as battalion commander in 2021 and received the Academic Excellence, the SAI Leadership Award, and the Audie Murphy Chapter 112 National Sojourners Award. He participated in mock trial for four years. He was, has been the team captain from 2020 to 2022. He participated in academic decathlon, placed third in district in economics in 2019, and he's also a member of the National Honor Society. Nick is a member of um, Boy Scouts of America Troop 890. He's earned his Eagle Scout Award. To do that, he performed a service project to benef benefit Pamper Lake Highlands. And he's also worked at Sonic while he's been in high school. Uh, Nick would like to pursue a career as either a software de developer or a computer engineer. To that end, Will is going to attend the Colorado School of Mine next year and major in computer science. Congratulations, I said Will. Nick, Nick. Next up is Evan Lieber. Evan is the son of Michael and Heather Lieber. He is a four-year member of the tennis team. He served as a class officer his um, sophomore, junior, and senior years. He's a member of the Wranglers. He's been on student council for four years, serving on the, and has served on the leadership team. He is a member of the National Honor Society. He's a member of the Young Men's Service League, and he also won the Class Ambassador Award and Service Award. Outside of high school, he lifeguards at Lakewood Country Club, and he is a member of the Leadership and Service Corps Group at Highland Park United Methodist Church. He also tutors and um, enjoys photography, both freelance and commission. Next year, he's gonna attend the University of Texas at Austin, and he plans to study in the McCone School of Business. Congratulations, Evan. Yeah. Next is Ava McClung. <laughs> Ava couldn't be with us this morning. She is deep in an AP music theory test. We wish her all the very best with that. <laughs> uh, she is the daughter of Britt and Carol. Ava participates in choir and musical theater. She's selected to the All Region Choir last year. Uh, she's also participated in academic decathlon band. She's a National Merit Commended Scholar and is one of the top 10 graduating seniors. She's also involved in community theater. She is a preschool choir director at Wilshire Baptist Church and teaches in the Creative Arts Camp there. Um, Ava intends to pursue a career in ministry and next year she's going to go to Rice University. So congrats to Ava. <laughs> next we have Anna Moore. Anna is the daughter of Weldon and Wendy Moore. 
She is a member of the Highland Ed Drill Team. She received Most Technical Dancer Award in 2021 and serves as a Senior Lieutenant Officer. She is a National Merit Commended Scholar, a member of the National Honor Society, Nu Alpha Theta, and participates in the Girls Service League. She's also active in Girl Scouts. She has served as a troop student leader. She won the Gold Award and her Gold Award project ben benefited the New Roots Garden at Central Lutheran Church. She volunteers as an assistant teacher at the Dallas Ballet Center, where she's also a member of the Dallas TAP Connection. She participated in the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Program for the last three years. Next year, she's going to attend the University of Texas at Austin. She is going to participate in the five-year BBA MPA, um, Masters of Public Administration program, and then she plans to attend law school after that. Congratulations to Anna. And there we have Kyle. And so we've, we've met Kyle, we heard about Kyle um, during the Austin Silva Memorial Scholarships, and I just realized that behind me, we also saw Charlie Baumgarten, Brandon Beller, and William Brokaw who I kind of think of as a package deal because they all group together on the program and they're all headed to A&M. But they also received Exchange Club scholarships, so congratulations to you fellas as well. And for the record, no one at this table bailed me out when we blew right past those a minute ago, so thanks. Yeah, love you too. All right. Uh, next, we have Grace Norris. Grace is the daughter of Chris and Don Norris. She is a four-year member of the Marching and Concert Band. She is a four-year member of the Lake Highlands Theater Department. She is in National Honor Society, where she serves as the Vice President of Finance. She's a peer helper. She is a founding member of the Lake Highlands Young Democrats Club and currently serves as Senior Vice President of that club. She's in the Girls' Service League, the Thespian Society, and New Alpha Theta. She's also a National Charity League, active in Girl Scouts, having won the Bronze and Silver Awards. Next year, Grace plans to attend American University. She will attend American University, and she is potentially interested in pursuing a Master's in Public Policy or going to law school. Congratulations, Grace. Next up is Jackson Reed. Jackson is the son of Joe and Tony Reed. He is a four-year member of Marching Band. He, is ser he serves as the Mellophone section leader, and he made Texas All-Region Band all four years of high school. He's active in Lake Highlands Theater. He's participated in both the musical and the UIL one-act play. He competes in academic decathlon. He's won several awards and served as honors captain of the team. He is a National Merit Commended Scholar. He won Exchange Club Youth of the Month in November and he is among the top 10 graduating students in his class. Outside of the high school, Jackson volunteers at Meals on Wheels, CC Young, and Diversicare. He's been a guest musician and organized holiday concerts at, at the two nursing homes. He is active at Highland Park United Methodist Church. He's a volunteer instrumentalist, and he was the, the, choir co, the youth choir co-president in 2021 and 2022. Um, he has worked as a teaching assistant at the Huffman Horn Studio, sharing his horn skills for the last three years. And um, it's not all music. He's also got a second degree back black belt in Taekwondo. So there's, there you go. Um, next year, Jackson is going to study electrical engineering at Southern Methodist University. And his ultimate goal is to pursue a law degree and practice in the field of intellectual property law. Congratulations, Jackson. Next up is Sarah Shelton. Sarah is the daughter of Thomas and Case Shelton. She is a four-year member of the tennis team, and she won academic all-district second team honors her junior year. She is also a founder of the Young Democrats Club, and she serves as president of that organization. She is a senior class officer serving as treasurer member of National Honor Society, where she is the current Vice President of Service. She's also active in Nu Alpha Theta, Girls Service League. She is a National Merit Commended Scholar and one of the top 10 graduating seniors. 
Outside of the high school, she works um, providing private tennis lessons as a coach up at Fair Oaks Tennis Center. She participated in National Charity League in high school, served as VP of Programs and VP of Philanthropy. She also participated in the Built by Girls WAVE program, which is a mentoring program um, that, that helps young women who are looking to go into the STEM field or pursue a STEM career. Next year, she's going to attend Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. She's not sure of her major yet, but she's considering economics and art history, and then some sort of graduate degree, possibly at an international university. Congratulations, Sarah. Well Next up is Charlie Silva. Um, Charlie is the son of Suzanne and David Silva. He is a four-year member of the cross-country team, where he served as captain and received academic All-State First Team honors. He's a National American Men and Scholar, and he's one of the top 10 graduating seniors of this year's graduating class. He has received recognition through the National Hispanic Recognition Program. He's also a member of National Honor Society and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. He has many activities outside of the high school as well. He is active in Lake Highlands Young Life. He volunteers with the Children's Ministry at Watermark Church, Community Church. He has also volunteered at Camp Barnabas. He worked at SoCo Coffee and Bistro Restaurant. He's also worked at Mathnasium. And he's also a member of Young Men's Service League where he volunteers his time as well. Next year, he's going to attend the University of Texas at Austin, and he will pursue a career in aerospace engineering. Congratulations, Charlotte. <laughs> Next, we have Madeline Smith. <laughs> Madeline is the daughter of Leland and Carrie Smith. Madeline loves computer science and math, she is the president of Mu Alpha Theta. She participated in Highland Eds as a manager and is currently the head manager of the Highland Eds. She's also a member of National Honor Society, Girl Service League, and she's been on student council for four years. She's also a top 10 graduating senior. She is active in CISV, which is a global organization dedicated to educating and inspiring peace through intercultural friendships, cooperation, and understanding. Through that organization, she's traveled to camps around the world to participate in that program. She's also active in the Greenland Hills United Methodist Church Youth Group, serving as president. And she um, works with the Greenland Hills Preschool, leading activities and crafts for, for children and helping to create a positive environment. She also participated in, in this um, coding camp. She actually did it three years. That camp that I've referenced a couple times this morning is called Code with Clossy. She's also a Girl Scout Gold Award recipient and to earn this award, her Gold Award project was creating a coding camp that involved over 80 hours of community service. Next year, she will attend Emory University. She plans to pursue a master's in math and applied statistics after completing her undergraduate work, and then pursue a career in the field of data science because of her affinity for computer programming. Congratulations. Next is Carly Smith. Carly is the daughter of Grant and Amy Smith. She played four years of Lake Highlands soccer. She currently serves on the Varsity Leadership Council and received the Academic All-District Award. She's a member of Wranglers and a member of National Honor Society, Girls Service League, Mu Alpha Theta, Student Council, and she received the Texas Art Education Association Regional Art Show Award. Carly also participates in Young Life. She's active in the Park City's Baptist Church Youth Group, where she teaches a one-year-old Sunday school school class and volunteers with the children's ministry. She's also a member of High Adventure Treks for Dads and Daughters. Next year, Carly plans to attend Texas A&M University and study and pursue a career in finance. Congratulations, Carly. <laughs> Next is Relo Ta. son of Sarah Ta and Chit Nu. He was born in a refugee camp in Thailand and lived there until he was 11 years old. Both his parents currently live and work in Arkansas while he lives with the family in Lake Highlands and has continued his high school career here. Relo is a three-year member of the wrestling team. He played JV football as well. He also works at Andy's Frozen Custard 
and previously had a landscaping company. He has volunteered at the Austin Street Shelter, St. James Episcopal Church, working in the Pumpkin Patch, and at Wallace Elementary, where he provides translation services for students who speak um, his native language and helping to maintain the Wallace Garden. Um, next year, Relo plans to attend the University of Arkansas to be closer to his family. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Audrey Taylor. <laughs> Audrey is the daughter of Brian and Jocelyn Taylor. She's a member of Highland Eds. Um, she served on the social committee and as new girl mentor. She is the vice president of service with National Honor Society. She has been a class officer for three years, currently serving as class secretary. She's a member of the Girls Service League where she held the position of historian. She's a peer helper, a member of student council, and the Young Democrat Club. She's also a member of the National Charity League, and she's held a number of positions there, including historian, board member, social chair, and mentor liaison. Um, she, through that organization, she has volunteered at the Dallas Public Library, East Lake Pep Orphanage, Pamperlake Highlands, the Chew Animal Clinic. She is active in the Greenland Hills United Methodist Church Youth Group, uh, where she went on a Costa Rica mission trip and she performs other community service in and around Dallas. She's volunteered at Mommies in Need as a Mommies in Need summer camp counselor for children whose mothers were receiving treatment at Parkland. Next year, she plans to attend Santa Clara University. She would like to one day work for a nonprofit or an NGO. She wants to study sociology and international affairs in college. She's thinking about potentially serving in the Peace Corps or AmeriCorps. Congratulations, Audrey. And our last exchange club scholarship goes to Constance Taylor. <laughs> Constance is the daughter of John and Karen Taylor. Constance's primary activity at the high school has been banned, where she has served as trumpet section leader this year. She enjoyed the opportunity to mentor younger students, and she's been awarded Brass Member of the Week several times in her band career. She volunteers at Feed Lake Highlands and East Lake Pet Orphanage. She's a member of the youth group at Northwest Bible Church. She volunteers at Vacation Bible School and is active in Young Life, and she currently works as, at Crumble Cookies as a shift lead. Next year, Constance is going to attend Baylor University. She wants to study nursing. To this end, she has already earned her EKG and PCT certifications. <clears throat> she plans to earn both a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing and a Master's in Nursing so that she can work as a, as a licensed nurse practitioner specializing in labor and delivery. Congratulations, Constance. And our last two scholarships are the Exchange Club Board of Directors Scholarships. Um, <clears throat> these scholarships are awarded to two students each year, one boy and one girl, and they are awarded to students who exemplify the ideals of the Exchange Club and um, the, the goals of service that we strive for. And so our first Board of Directors Scholarship goes to Caden Chase. <laughs> Caden is the son of David and Lane Chase, and he is um, quite the Renaissance man. He is a four-year member of the baseball team. He serves as captain of the Wranglers, and he's also a four-year member of the band. He served as clarinet section leader and woodwind captain. He's won a bunch of different band awards, including second chair, all-region orchestra clarinet, um, all region, sixth chair, all-region clarinet, 14th chair, all-area clarinet. He won the Malcolm Helm Chamber Music Competition third place in 2011, and he's been awarded Most Outstanding Woodwind Musician of the Lake Highlands Band. Uh, he worked at Next Level Sports Group for the past two years. He's also been very active and involved in Lake Highlands Young Life. He's part of the Teen Young Life Leadership Team. He attends Northwest Bible Church, and he's part of a small group with Watermark Community Church as well. Upon graduation, Caden intends to pursue a career in music education. He wants to make a difference in kids' lives through music the way that Lake Highlands Band Director Mr. Brumley has done for him. And so to pursue that goal, he's going to attend Baylor University, he's going to study music, and then he plans to use those skills to lead a life of service to others. Uh, during his interview, our committee found Caleb not only incredibly, enthousi incredibly enthusiastic about his chosen career path, but he was really out engaging and outgoing and just, just committed to the goals that he has set out for himself. We think he's gonna be an outstanding music teacher, music teacher, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish.
Right away. And our second Board of Directors scholarship goes to Wendy Hernandez. Wendy is the daughter of Ponciano Hernandez and Justina Baltazar. She is a three-year member of Lake Highlands Folklorica and serves as a senior lieutenant this year. She's been a four-year member of Symphonic Orchestra. She is an equity ambassador and an advanced academic ambassador. She participates in the AVID College Readiness Program and she has been awarded one of our Exchange Club Youth of the Month Awards this year. Next year, Wendy plans to attend Midwestern State University and she wants to pursue um, pre-med studies. She's still deciding which area of medicine she wants to practice in, but she knows that she wants to um, obtain a medical degree, practice medicine, and, he and help others in, in her career. So congratulations to Wendy. We know that you're gonna accomplish great things as well. <laughs> so that is the, um, those are all of our scholarships. Um, congratulations again to all the students. You've all done an amazing job. Maybe one more round of applause for everybody. Hold on. <laughs> and while I have you, um, the way that we raise money to, to award these scholarships each year, a large portion of them, specifically all of the Exchange Club scholarships that I um, just presented, are funded annually by our annual fundraising efforts. We have a um, benefit concert coming up on May 21st. It is going to be at Gillies and at um, Jack Ingram is the headliner. If anyone of you would like to join us, we would love to have you. Um, so if there's a QR code up there, there are also flyers on the tables. Um, so that's just how we do what we do. So that concludes our presentation. Thank you all. Thanks again to Brent and his committee, uh, all the work that was put into it uh, shows. So a couple of quick things. I saw earlier Councilman Magoo, I think he left, but uh, thanks him for being here. Also Rachel McGowan is here, our newly elected Board of Trustees. So welcome Rachel, thank you for being here. And uh, so yes, photos, so I know we're quick on time here, but if I can have all of our recipients come up front, we will take a group photo, um, and then we'll get you on your way. So with that, thanks again for being here. Always a pleasure to have you. Have a great day.